Hi, I'm Steffi Nails, and today I'm going to show you how to use the new gel system from Miley My Gel. I'm going to show you how to apply this product and some of my best tips and tricks for making your gel manicure last. But first of all, you're going to want to make sure that you've got all the products that you need to complete your gel manicure. So we're going to start with the prep and wipe, the lint free wipes, the buffing block, your orange stick, your cuticle nippers, your cuticle pusher, your nail file, your nail oil, then we also have your base coat, your normal top coat, the no wipe top coat, and your colour of choice. And today we're also going to be using the Miley Pro LED lamp. So you want to start with clean washed hands to remove any dirt or dust from the nail bed. And I'm going to start with a nail file. Now I like to shape my nails in an almond shape because I think this makes the nail look elongated and the fingers look longer but you can go for like a short or square nail look which is being rocked by most celebrities so it's really on trend. When filing the nail you want to rock from side to side and you want to do one side and then the other. And this will enable you to get an even look. Next I'm going to use a cuticle pusher. This cuticle pusher has the pusher at the top and the scalp at the bottom so be a little bit careful with this bit because it can be sharp. I'm going to start with the pusher and by applying a light pressure, work your way down the nail, pushing back any dead skin that's on the nail bed, because this will enable your gel manicure to adhere better to the nail plate, because you don't want your gel manicure to flake off in one whole layer. After you've done that, you can then use the scalpel end gently to get into those little side walls, because that's where you're gonna get hangnails. You can then move on to your cuticle nippers. Now be careful with these because these can be sharp and you don't want to take off too much skin because this bit is the epinicium and that protects the nails from future infections. So you just want to use this to get rid of any tiny, tiny little hangnails on the side of your skin. Feel free to pinch the skin down so you can get into the side wall to remove any bits that shouldn't be there. So next I'm going to use my white buffing block. Just a soft buff around the edge of the cuticle, around the end of the nail, and round the free edge. This is going to get your gel to sit better, last better, and not peel off in one clean layer. So you're going to do that just to remove some of the shine. After doing that, you're going to take one of your lint-free wipes and you're going to use your Miley Prep and Wipe. Apply a small amount in a scrubbing motion, go across the nail bed. Make sure you really get into the side of the nails because that's where the dust and the oil will be sitting and they're not our friend. You're all ready to go in and start with the My Gel base coat. Give the brush a little twizzle in the neck of the bottle and then you're going to apply a thin layer on the nail, starting two thirds down, but push back towards that cuticle. So that way you don't get flooding in the cuticle and you get a nice, smooth, even base coat. Don't forget to cap the end of the nail. If you have nails that are too short and you can't actually cap the end of the nail, you can pinch the nail back. That way it's easier to apply the gel and cap without getting it onto the skin. Then we're going to pop it in the gel lamp for 30 seconds. Now that you've applied your base coat, you need to pick your colour of your choice. Now I've picked Piping Heart because it's a cute coral colour. So you want to give this a nice little stir Mix up that colour. Don't shake because the colour gets inside the lid and you don't want that. You want to get as much as you can off the brush because you're only going to apply a thin coat. Don't worry if this looks a bit streaky and don't feel afraid to take off a little bit extra as well because you can always cover the rest on the second coat. So you should be able to do it in between two to three strokes down the nail, not forgetting to cap the end. The key to a successful gel manicure is keeping those layers thin. You don't want bubbling and you don't want ripples in your gel because this will make your gel manicure last way less than what it should. Now after you've finished your first layer, you can pop your hand in the lamp. I've put mine on for 30 seconds, but if you've done a slightly thicker layer, pop yours on for the 60 second setting. Now that I've done my first coat, I'm going to do my second coat. If you've got any tricky sidewall areas that you can't quite get to, pull back the skin at the side of the nail so you're almost pinching it and then pop the polish on. That way you'll get a cleaner line down the edge. 
We're done, so now we go back in the lamp. Now that's your second coat done. Inspect to make sure that it doesn't need a third coat. I think this colour's come out really great, so I'm going to go straight in and use the top coat. Now, my gel will have two top coats. You have no wipe or the original top coat. I'm going to use the original top coat today. So wiggle that brush, remove that excess, and then just like you had before, apply a thin layer and cap. This is the most important cap out of your whole manicure because this is the thing that takes the wear and tear. Now that's done, into the lamp it goes. Now your top coat's applied, I'm going to remove the sticky layer with the prep and wipe. So I'm just going to apply that to the lint free wipe and rub that all over the nail. Now this removes the sticky layer but that sticky layer is actually quite important while you're doing your nails because it helps each layer sit on top of each other and float which makes the nail a little bit less trapped so it's a bit more healthier for the nail. If you do get a slight colour transfer on the white, don't panic, that's just the residue from the sticky layer. Your gel polish is still there. After your top coat, you're going to want to apply quite a healthy amount of cuticle oil. Now this is really good because you've just been touching chemicals and products and the nail does become a little bit dry to enable our gel polish to adhere better. Now don't be afraid of the cuticle oil, it's your best friend. You want to rub it all over the nail, all underneath and all down the sides. Now if you do this twice a day, you're going to make your nails grow longer, stronger and healthier. And your gel manicure will last longer and it acts as an armour while the nail heals and repairs underneath. It's my golden tip. Now that hand's done, I'm just going to quickly apply the base coat and do the prep on this hand. And now we're all done and I have to say I'm super impressed and I can't wait for you all to try it. So check out our social media channels and our website for more info on Miley and my gel.